Right now, it's time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The New York's Daily News looks at the family of Martin Richard. The eight-year-old boy was killed in the Boston Marathon bombing. His family is not only coping with that loss, but their own injuries from the attack. As part of their healing, they launched the Martin Richard Foundation. And on Monday, 100 runners will remember Martin as they compete in the 2014 marathon. The Washington Post previews a new SAT college entrance exam. The college board released draft sample questions this morning. One asked for the definition of the word intense. The essay will be optional. The high school will return to 1600. The Los Angeles Times says the brothers of the late actor Paul Walker will help complete filming on Fast and Furious 7. Walker died in November in a very fiery car crash. He has already filmed most of his scenes. His two look-alike brothers, Caleb and Cody, will stand in to fill in some of the remaining gaps. And the London Telegraph says when it comes to sleep, the happiest couples need their space, but not too much. It cites a study suggesting partners who sleep less than an inch apart are more likely to be happy in their relationship than those who sleep 30 or more inches away. I'm a believer in that. It makes sense to me. I think you don't get the king size bed. Yeah. Stay in a queen size bed. And just be able oh, to. Oh, I like the king size snuggle. bed now. <laughs> snuggle. You got to <laughs> snuggle. Well, you want time to be close and time to be away. That's no, I like the king size bed. You need a lot of room. <laughs> but I think being close is I think is the one inch good. is a good idea. Yes, that's right. The Denver Post says the Colorado Rockies <laughs> helped celebrate Jackie Robinson's career. <laughs> Players on every team they played yesterday wore the number 42 on their uniforms. That was Robinson's number when he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They honored the 67th anniversary of Robinson breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball. And Variety says that Soul Train's next stop may be Broadway. A producer brought the rights to the legendary TV show. He's hoping to draw on the huge appeal that Soul Train enjoyed during its 35 years on the air. Pop music productions have been a hit on Broadway in recent years.